Well, good morning. How are you folks this, this morning? I'm back at her again. Another little project here. I have uh, harvested uh, what remains of my zucchini and um, I'm gonna try to get them stored away for the winter and possibly have some nice meals at Christmas and Thanksgiving and so on but uh, I know they're not gonna last the way they are so I'm taking one zucchini and I have several I'm gonna be cutting it up into medallions probably about a half inch to quarter inch thick and I'm gonna be taking and blanching them and then I'm going to be dousing them in ice water so that my uh, cooking process is going to stop. And then from there, I'm going to be laying them out on the parchment paper and putting it in the freezer. After the freezer is done, then I've got this handy dandy little piece of equipment here to suck out all the air and make preserves for the winter. So, uh, onwards as they say, and I've got lots to do. <laughs> so this is going to take some time and I only have so much room in the freezer outside so I'm going to have to wait a good probably three four hours uh, in between batches just so that they freeze up nice and solid and then I can take them off the parchment paper and package them up and squirrel them away in the deep freeze. So the reason why I can do this and it's Wednesday <laughs> I am running an online uh, business that affords me the time to be able to do all of these things and uh, making my way through my house if you see my previous posts I can uh, get uh, through the distress of my life and the neglect of my life uh, as far as decks oh windows doors uh, this table needs to be done that uh, I'm working on right now uh, as far as sanding and, and re-sealing on the, on the top. Uh, so, I owe it all to being online and doing a digital business that uh, affords me this time to be at home and to be available for my family. Previously, that didn't happen. I was on the road constantly and I was always taking orders and not being available to my kids, my wife, and to the day-to-day well, -day chores and, and upkeep of my house. Anyways, that being said, onwards with the journey here. And, uh, gonna get it done. <laughs> well hello again. I'm just gonna finish off this one project with my zucchini. So I had grown uh, these zucchini which uh, I still have a few to go but uh, I just wanted to show you how nice they turned out after blanching and ready for bagging because they've been sitting in the deep freeze for oh, uh, about 24 hours now and uh, yeah a, a boo so pretty good and I got my bags ready to go I really recommend getting something like this you can put the um, the rolls in here, cut them to size, and uh, yeah, they work really good. There we go. I'll just give that a go. This particular variety, or 
maybe some other varieties of vacuum sealer. Uh, you could probably get uh, refill bags from Costco or um, places like that. I found Costco to be the most reasonable as far as price goes. And uh, you can just get the, you know, the refill rolls uh, or you can get the packs that have pre-made bags plus refill rolls of two different sizes as well. So here we go. I'm gonna get her done and uh, vacuum seal it. And we'll catch up to you a little later. Well, I just wanted to put one on regular motion, just in case you have never used uh, one of these things before. So, uh, what I've done is I put them on par parchment paper. You can see there, kind of, sort of, not quite. How about down there? Okay. see my face anyway at this point <laughs> but anyways I've pre-sealed the one end of the bag because I've got the, the, the long rolls so that's done by putting it into this slot right here and it's sometimes a little bit tricky because when you get closer to the roll you see how it uh, kind of separates so you kind of got to maybe start from one side and just kind of feed it in like that and uh, the indicator light will tell you uh, when you've got it positioned properly. I'm just doing a couple of smaller bags here just for uh, smaller recipes. But uh, these are great when you like, make a, oh, how about like some seasoning salt, uh, Dip them in um, uh, egg, and then you use uh, panko um, breading and uh, olive oil uh, to put into your pan, and then sprinkle some balsamic vinegar on them. Uh, fantastic! Just, you know cook them on broil and uh, crisp them up and uh, yeah she's good well this one's kind of full we'll see how it goes I might have to make another bag it's a little bit too big too much for one we'll see if I can get it to work Flip it around. It needs about an inch or an inch and a half on both ends to actually feed it into the machine properly. anything because there's nothing in it yet. I'll just let that go. There. 
nice and sealed. You can see that? All the way across. It does have a setting for uh, moist foods in that. So there is a tray in the inside that will catch moisture. But if that gets too full, then your machine shuts down and you have to clean up the tray and make sure it's dry. And then, uh, then you'll be able to continue again. The only other time is, say, uh, it overheats, uh, then that would be a, a time that it would shut down. But uh, I've never had that problem with this one. And because they're frozen, I got them dry. Wait for the indicator light to see it's done. And there you go. Awesome. So there you have it. Got a, a smaller bag, a medium bag, and two larger bags, all vacuum sealed. So, off into the deep freeze they go. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned a little bit about uh, this uh, vacuum sealer. I do meat, I do, meat, I do uh, sausages, I pack all of my uh, harvest from hunting season. Uh, if I go to the store, the farmer's market, I can do my peas, um, even berries. Berries and wet stuff, like I said, are a little bit uh, trickier because uh, the you have to set the settings so that it doesn't suck quite so hard, uh, just so that it doesn't draw out all of the berry juice into the machine. Uh, I tend to watch it and then as I see like say the moisture coming up from the bottom I try to time it and then just hit seal because usually by that time all the air is out anyway and that's predominantly what you want to do is just get this uh, the air out. Uh, air in a freezer causes freezer burn so there you go. It's more food in the freezer for the winter months and uh, you know look up all your recipes uh, and then you got your your freshly growing things uh, from your own garden which are probably way better healthy healthier and more full of nutrients due to factory farming and things like that um, you just can't beat homegrown or Farmers market stuff. Support your local farmers. Um, they have wonderful produce. Uh, they're usually very reasonable as far as cost goes. And um, then you can do your own preserves too because they usually have uh, bulk as well. So, anyways, the day. And I hope I inspired you into doing your own preserving and gathering up the stores for the winter. Cheers everybody! Well, <clears throat> I just came bulldozing out of the back of the house to put my preserves in the freezer, which they're all in here. But typical, can't turn your back for a second. So I spooked a baby deer into the front yard. <laughs> I'll see if I can't get some video for you. Uh, that's the way I'll finish off this uh, little segment. I uh, hope you enjoy. She says I'm hiding. 
Hello. Always in my yard. I just spooked this one from the backyard. <laughs> Always hungry. Where's your mama? It's four o'clock in the afternoon. Do you know where your children are? I used to be an old TV advertisement when I was a kid. How close can I get to you? At least I don't need my hedge clipped. <laughs> I'm going to leave the baby alone so that uh, she doesn't get spooked. Possibly running out into the road because the road is quite busy. Another generation coming through the yard. So awesome. Wouldn't trade into this place for the world.